plasma grenades obtained. Stronghold Bravo is on. Stronghold Charlie, lost. Active camo, inbound. Active camo, available. We've captured Charlie. He's on me. <laughs> the enemy has captured Alpha. Stronghold Charlie lost. The zone is ours. No, not yet. <laughs> it'll take it'll take a little bit. They do. There's it's a mode called Forge. It was the first video game to uh, give you a map editor. Like we're uh, Fortnite Creative. It's Halo Forge is where it started. Well, there's vehicles. So like in this in this big team version, it's a twelve v twelve. And there's all kinds of vehicles in it. Yeah, my aim's pretty trash right now, too. <laughs> I do a little circle around him, absolutely. That's how I, because, like, I'm, it's just such a weird, awkward little situation over here for my, my arm. Like, I don't have that much space for it, so I'm like, I don't know, it's weird. It'll be busy. Have group projects too. Oh dang, that's a big oop. Big oop. For more stuff. San Jose, California. Well, dang. If it continues to move, kill it harder. Boastful laughter. Ha, ha, 
gosh. <clears throat> Spike grenade acquired. Vehicle delivery confirmed. I'm just going to spawn inside of their spawn, and that makes sense.
are low. Incoming. Victory Spartan. Keep it up. My chair is broken. If you can tell. <clears throat> this one's not working. There we go. Connection lost.
You can't. Game just crashed. Nice. It's two crashes. Mark that down for instability. We got two crashes. Two. Cr <laughs> there she is. Two crashes. Come on, 343. What is this chip tune? It's all the hubbub about over here. Let's see. So I, I've crashed twice now on PC. Two times. Two times now I've crashed on PC. Eh. I mean, it's to be expected, right? Rank help. What does that mean? Competitive skill rank. CSR level bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, and onyx. Nice. Cool. Cool beans. I'm really tempted to plug in a controller and try this out. But at the same time, I'm like, I want to get good on the on the mouse and keyboard. You know what I'm saying? I want to get good. I don't want to get good on the sticks. I want to get good on the mouse and keyboard. I don't know. It's a tough decision. It's a tough decision. What do we do? You know what I'm saying? What do we do exactly? That's the question. So nice to see people playing Halo on Twitch and on YouTube. Like, big people playing it and, like, actually enjoying it. All right, hang on, chat. I'm going to go get a drink real quick. Wait, I just realized I'm getting into a game. Never mind. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I forgot. Capture oh, my God, this chair. It's going to fall again. Watch. Ooh, it didn't fall. That's crazy. Oh. It's Why? Why is how you open up chat. Okay. Didn't realize that. Good to know. Give me that, thank you. I will say, PC performance is better. I feel like for some reason my FOV changed. Hold on a second. Did my FOV change randomly? Or am I crazy? No, it didn't change. Let's bump that up though, 120. I feel like we could definitely roll with a 120 FOV and it'd be fine. Look at I definitely dropped our FPS a little bit though. Uh, but yeah, I was saying it definitely it's definitely running better this time around for PC. And they've had a few updates that have affected the performance, thankfully. It's not perfect by any means, but it's definitely in a much better place. Like, for instance, for me, I'm running a 1080 Ti with a Ryzen 
Oh, jeez. With the R9 3950X. And it's actually running not too bad. still some things about this game that I haven't quite gotten the hang of yet. Like, I don't know why. Oh, so, that was so weird, like, I don't know. It, it, I don't know. <laughs> uh, there's still some things I don't quite get. I'll wait for it. Excuse me? Incoming. Somebody has my flag? flag carrier revealed. Oh, way out there. Whatever. I definitely like the, the look of this game way better on 120 FOV, though. I'll say that. I lose some FPS when I do it this way, but boy, does it look good. the hell? Alright, that was some bull crap. Toys are ours. Enemy returns their flag. Oh, it's not there. What the What did I just pick up? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I can throw this? Huh. Okay, sure. Oh wait, I'd rather have this stuff. Yeah, yeah, somebody come challenge me. All right, I'll go challenge you, how about that? But yeah, I'm running this game on a 1080 Ti, which I know is, of course, you know, on the older end of things for for graphics cards. It's about three gens behind. It's still a great card, but it is it is a little old at this point. But I am running it on a R9 3950X with 32 gigs of RAM, so I am compensating pretty well with the <coughs> with the CPU. But I had a lot of struggles running it during the first flight. Like, I was getting constant hitching, and I couldn't even really run it. I couldn't even really run it more, or really at 60 FPS. I was getting it below 60 for most for most of the time I was playing it. Which made it near unplayable for me. Just to be frank, it was definitely near unplayable. All right, nice. That was really cool. Good, good engagement. But it's running way, way, way better now. I am running on everything low settings except for a few that are at ultra, and I am running at 50%. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's part of it, too. I am running this at 55% render resolution. That probably has something to do with it, too. There's some recommended settings from uh, gigs on Twitter. But so far, everything seems to be working fairly well like this. I've been getting a good solid frame rate. Can't really complain too much on this one. All right, dude. Really? This game is going horribly. I like the commando a lot, but I just feel like I don't have control of the recoil, which is mildly annoying. 
Alright, peek your head out. Okay. I'm actually very upset with you. <sighs> the game does definitely look good, though. I will say that. The game does look good. Freaking cool, bro. I will say this. I've now played a couple of CTF games on BTB. Something, at least on this map specifically, something needs to be done. Because my first game of BTB on here ended in a draw after going to overtime. And this one is not going any differently. So, I don't know what exactly needs to be changed, but something definitely does. Just to change how the combat flows... To make it go in such a way that it is easier to cap flags. Again, I'm speaking about this map specifically. I don't know how the other BTB maps are going to work, of course. But this one specifically is giving a lot of problems as far as capping flags are concerned. So, I would like there to be something to happen with this. I don't know what. I really have no idea what, but just something. That dude spent his whole grapple shot on me. And now he's dead. I just feel like it's really hard for people to get flag caps on this map. Cool. And again, that may be different on different maps. So who knows? Just my experience so far. I do really like the visual style of this map, though. It's just like a... Whew, it's just a very... It, honestly, it feels like a completely different take on, like, Valhalla. And then visually just more striking. You know, more more visual elements to the map. Looks great. I really do like it. Where are these guys going? I know they're over there. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Did we get him? Oh, we got him. Okay. An ally has taken the enemy flag. I don't... I will say one thing I don't quite understand so far An about BTB is flag. the weapon spawns. Like, they've done a really good job of making this feel like a war. But I don't know where, like, specific weapons spawn. Is that a thing in BTB? I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a huge BTB player. I'm definitely more of an arena person, for sure. But, like, I don't know where specific weapons spawn, or even if there is a location of specific weapon spawns. Like, like of course, you have all the weapon bays on the, on the various, you know, pieces of equipment and stuff, but I just, I don't know, I don't know where to find, like, a sniper, for example. Okay, it looks like maybe there's one right here, because that definitely looks like a power weapon spawn right there. That might be it. Again, it's one of those things where, like, I just, I don't know. I'm not saying that there isn't. I just don't know about it. Oh my god! Well, I started out this game doing pretty well. I definitely excel at Slayer. I finished my last Slayer match 15-5 and five at the top of the leaderboard. So... You give me on some Slayer. Oh my god, wrong button. You give me on some Slayer, and we might have a different different game here. Heat Wave, sure. Heat Wave's interesting. Don't mind it. Yeah, bruh. Twenty-four seconds till that opens up. Okay. How did he die? I have no idea. Oh shoot! Yeah, yeah, yeah. take that, take that, take that. Or he must have got sniped incoming. or something. Speaking of which, what's this down here? Yeah. Oh, it's a grapple shot! Oh my god! Wait, I'll come back. Obtained. 
velocity at maximum. Did they tone down the uh, whatever you call it, the personal AI? Did they tone her down, or the person down rather? Did they tone them down? Because I feel like I'm not hearing them as much. I mean, I'm definitely still hearing them, but I feel like I'm not hearing them as much, which is appreciated. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> they just talked way too much in the first flight. Way too much. Like, I understand that Jeff Steitzer is like, you know, not like the main man for some of the stuff. I understand that, but... I don't need to hear somebody every moment of the game. You know what I'm saying? Bulldog here. Hostile. Perforated. Ordnance drops inbound. Frag. Obtained. Okay, that's cool. Oh my god, wrong way. Nice, that was cool. Okay. Oh, that's really cool too. Yeah. Ordinance incoming. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for you, my friend. Look at what you did. You failed, and now you've given me the rocket. Mistakes have been gravely made. I feel like I should let them come in here a little bit. Right now I've got some pretty I got a pretty Oh god run! I have a terrible line of sight right now. Terrible line of sight. Yeah, just let them come in a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just just bait him in here a little bit. He's over there. Oh, I tagged him. That's cool. I guess. I got the assist, yay. You know, this is the spanker. I should be getting better stuff with the spanker. Ooh, ooh, I can get, I can get something cool with the spanker here. Come here. Your ticket to the sky. Oh my gosh, somebody already killed him. Don't worry, I got that guy. I still don't. If somebody could let me know why there's red nameplates and blue nameplates for my team, that'd be amazing. I don't understand why that's the case. Yet to figure this out. Two shots left in the rocket. Oh my god. That's some. Ooh. Kemper! How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have you had a chance to jump into Halo Infinite yet? And if you have, what do you think? Repulsor. Give me your thoughts. Apply. I'm curious. An ally has taken the enemy flag. Yeah, come on. Come on, bro. Oh, oh my god. Woo! Long shot. For the Heat wave, don't mind if I do, right? Alright, well I tried. <clears throat> Not the right weapon for that situation, clearly. Clearly. Dude, every game, every game of CTF on BTB now has gone to overtime. Something definitely needs to be addressed about that, at least on this map, but specifically fragmentation. You know, maybe three for three will just let us dabble in another map, you know, and we could get to try that out a little bit. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Leave me alone! Oh, oh you missed your shot. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I know you missed it. Dang. Where's he at? Enemy returns their flag. Deploying praise. Excuse me? What the heck do you think you are, sir? 
You know what's really embarrassing about that? You had a bulldog and I didn't. And I came out on top. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, cool. I played one game and had the funniest conversation with some randoms on BTB. Can't wait to jump on again tonight. Heck yeah, man. That's awesome. You know, I actually haven't heard a single person talking in game. Have you? Was that a situation for you where like people were actually speaking in game? I have not experienced that yet. I mean, granted, I have not been personally talking in game either, so you know. I guess there's that, but. <laughs> Oh my god, they're gonna they're gonna freaking cap this because they're on Oh my god. Okay. I don't know how to control this apparently. What's up, dude? What's up, man? Oh my god. What in the heck? When does this this particular one ends at five, right? Five Eastern time, this one ends? Was it Yeah, yeah, because it's ten to two for the first one and then it's after that, right? So we got about 42 minutes or so with this. Oh, give me that. Oh my, what the? Get out of here! Oh my! <sighs> nice. Nice. That's really cool. I'm really happy about that. Freaking moron up there. We better freaking stop them, bro. I'm not even kidding. Nice. Let's go, dude. Let's go. I love it. Enemy Call me Rage, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We lost. Let's go. Oh, my God, dude. CTF on this map needs work. It needs work. Because it's just... It doesn't even play like CTF. It's like... Because it's just such a long map. It's so hard to get it. And it go all the way to the other end. It's just really hard. Definitely needs some work. I don't know how the other maps play, but this one specifically could use uh, could use something. Something. I don't know what, but something. Last weekend, I was continually running into folks with mics in chat during Arena. I'm tempted to play a game of Arena, but this is BTB. Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Yeah, we'll play a game of B we'll, we'll play a game of Arena. We'll try it. I have heard of people saying that they've been running into open mic people. I don't think my mic is open though. I think I think I'm muted. Which is probably a good thing because I'm just continually talking. I don't think they're gonna want to hear me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, th this is the thing though, right? Like Halo thrives, in my opinion, on open mic proximity chat, right? Like Halo Three, especially like in Halo Three, like Lone Wolves proximity chat was really cool. Because you'd you'd dunk on somebody and then you'd hear them being super upset or like you'd be able to give it get it you know, like you'd have an opportunity to like say something to that person right when they're when they're right there. I really like that. So if if Halo can get back to a point where like everyone is encouraged to use their mics, that would be awesome. It'd be so cool. Long gone are those days, right? Where we're talking in game is is like a big thing. Long gone are those days. Hopefully we'll have them back though. That'd be awesome. I'd love it. Please give me Slayer. If we get some Slayer, then we're gonna rip. Stronghold. Oh wait, we're we're on Arena. We're not in Big Team Battle. I don't even know what I'm doing. All right. Well, I, I will say I did play Strongholds on this map last time, and it went rather well. Yep. I think some games call it Death Comms or something. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I would I would enjoy that quite a bit. All right, now keep, them, keep in mind, this is this right here is literally my second game of PvP ever on this game. I haven't played any PvP in Infinite at all until this flight, until today. So just keep, keep that in the back of your mind as you're watching me play here. Thank you so much. Okay, who in the heck? Nice. Hope a game mode like Breakout from Halo 5 returns in Infinite. You know, I like the concept of Breakout. I did because I like playing Search and Destroy and Call of Duty. I just don't think it. I don't think that implementation of that style mode worked in Halo 5. I also had a number of other issues with Halo 5 in general that probably didn't help with my perception of that mode. But now, I definitely would like to see a game mode like that return. Like, an, like, well, really, let me put it this way. 
I think ideally the best mode to return that's kind of like breakout ish. Oh my god, there's somebody here. Would be extraction. Extraction from Halo 4 is probably. I'm trying to think here. And. Oh man, what was that other? There was another one that was really cool too. But yeah, but extraction from Halo 4 is, is probably my favorite mode that they've ever introduced into Halo. And then taken out. Also, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting really distracted right now. I'm like spawning and I don't know like where I'm at. So this is really rough. What are we doing right now? Oh, and three. All right. Comeback starts now. If you don't know me, Kemper, or if you don't, you, you may know me, but if you don't know me, I'm not known for my gameplay. I'm known for my, <laughs> my interactivity and my content. So, oh my God, it's a whole galactic armada coming over there. So if my gameplay isn't, you know, the most incredible thing you've ever seen, that's why. As I get a really nice double right there. Yeah, give me that. Give me them reserves, bruh. Oh my god! Who hit me with that? So rude, bro! You're really- you're actually gonna die. <laughs> I told you. I can't recall extraction except for the way you would hold the object when arming a thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, that was the whole concept. Is you had like you had different like bomb sites on the map, and you had to fight over over um, setting the bomb, right? And then you had to you had to extract or defuse the bomb. It was basically a uh, a bomb defuse game mode, um, but it was just it was just a little, a little Halo take on things. That's why it was called extraction. I don't know who I'm shooting at right here. All right, there's one. There's two. Nice. All right. The Needler is nasty in this game. I'm not going to lie. Needler does bang. I don't know where these people are at. Okay. Needler is OP. Needler is freaking good, bro. You right? Are you up top? You are up top. Okay. No, you're not. Now you're down here. Ammo reserves depleting. Your team scoring. Oh my gosh! All right, cool. Enemy team scoring. Enemy team scoring. Thank you. Yeah, walk into that. Oh, bro. I get heck. That was nice. It's pretty nice. All right, you know I've had enough of this guy. Ah! Nice. Your team scoring. I got a little ballsy right there. Yeah, see, I told you the, the comeback train has started. Started at 0 and 3. Now we're 8 and 5. Just had to get a little focused. You know what I'm saying? Get away from me. Don't do that. The enemy has captured Bravo. A fine shot. That was nice. A little four shot there. You mind if I do? Oh man, he was weak. Your team oh. I should have gotten that. Where are we at? Enemy oh man, we're still getting scored. pumbled. Can we get some strongholds caps, please? I'm definitely playing this like a Slayer match right now, which is a problem. Don't worry, I got this active camera. Watch, watch, watch. Active camo acquired. Right, they have no idea that I'm here. We captured Bravo. Here we go. Your team scores. Full cap? There we go. This is full cap. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Dang it. Watch my back. Dang it. Hold on. Hold on, chat. This is really important. Tangle. This is really important. Here we go. The enemy has captured Double kill. Active camo. Inbound. Deploying praise. You glorious warrior. 
Well, you know, it wasn't as spectacular as I was hoping it would be, but it did work really well. <laughs> we did achieve what we were looking for. Alright, I know where this guy's going right here. I actually must say, I do like the AR in this game. Watch this. Here we go again. We're doing it. We're doing it again, bro. <laughs> They're not ready for this. I'm just saying. Don't hit me with that. You freaking annoying thing, you. Stronghold Alpha lost. Stronghold Charlie is ours. Okay. Oh my god, die! Oh, I was going to be really upset. I was going to be really, really upset if that guy got me. How smooth is the flight for you? I'm on PC, but last flight with my RTX 2060 I had experienced bad stuttering. I think the few minutes of B2B were good, but can't recall. So, so far, this flight is better on PC. It is significantly better. Uh, I'm running a 1080 Ti uh, with an R9 3950X and um, 32 gigs of RAM. Um, I've got a pretty beefy computer outside of the the graphics card department. The graphics card is a very good card, but it's just old. Um, and I was barely, I mean, I was barely hitting 60 in the first flight. I didn't play last weekend, but the ver but the first flight, I was barely getting 60. A lot of times, I was actually dropping below 60 in the 40s and 50 range. It was a struggle bus the first go around. This time, I mean, I'm sitting, yeah, I'm, this time I'm, I'm getting around the 144 hertz, 144 frames range um i am running a different set of settings though gigs on twitter had a suggestion of running certain settings at, at like th three settings at ultra and the rest at low so i'm giving that a shot and then on top of that um also running this at resolution scale 55 percent and it still visually looks just fine um I, I don't really have any complaints in terms of the visuals, how it looks with these settings. But I do have to run these settings in order to get what I'm getting. I don't really... I'm not really experiencing many many hitches, which I know was a really big problem the first go-around. Um, it's relatively smooth. The thing that I just have a huge issue with is the fact that this is borderless full screen. It would, it would feel a whole lot smoother if it wasn't borderless full screen. Nice. But until they add full screen... There's nothing you can do about that. So now to keep give you some perspective, I am playing this right now on the same P that on the same PC that I'm streaming, and I'm streaming at 1440p 60 FPS. So you know, if I wasn't streaming, then I probably would be having a slightly different uh, performance feel. Probably not by a ton, but but a little bit. And I keep accidentally pressing my grenade button instead of my melee button. That's a problem. Um, so there's probably a little bit of performance degradation through that. And also, I'm running at 120 FOV, so there's also that. But overall, it's running pretty well. Significantly better than it was originally. So, I am happy as far as that's concerned. B and BTB runs relatively fine. So, what, whatever, whatever change they made in the small update that they introduced last night, uh, definitely... Has definitely done something. 1,000% has done something. Oh my god. Uh! <sighs> I played so bad for the first part of the game. Now that I'm actually playing decently, it's like, well... You were too late, sir. I don't like the finesse that Jeff Steitzer added right there when he said defeat. I don't like that makes me mildly upset. I'm very new to PC and I'll look on Twitter for some settings recommendations because last flight was difficult on my end. My brother's Xbox Series S was was better um, flight than my PC. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've... That's, that's kind of the general consensus that I think I saw from a lot of people. Um... 
Here, I could show you what settings I have right now. And it's running. It's. I mean, you can see how it's running. We're, we're running around the 144 FPS range. Running a 120 FOV, 55% resolution scale. That's the weird thing. But I think the reason why we're running that 55% resolution scale is because the other settings were like compensating. But I've got everything is on low except for texture quality, geometry quality, and simulation quality, which are all on ultra. Everything else is on low. And it's running pretty fine. I am tempted to increase that resolution scale back up. I'm a little scared. <laughs> so I don't want to I don't want to break it. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's try it out. Let's let's try it. Let's just put this back up to 100 percent and just see. Let's, let's see what it does to our game. Let's do, uh, do we do social yeah, let's do social I, I, I haven't played Behemoth yet. I have not played a live game of Behemoth a Behemoth, so let's try it. Let's give it a shot. Oh, my cat has come to join us. Hello, Sabrina. This is Sabrina. Sabrina, say hello. For how low your resolution settings are, the game still looked fine. Exactly, Kemper. So I think the, I think the way, like, it was very, the, the settings that Giggs was suggesting was very selective. Um, like I said, the, 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 the few that were at Ultra, I think, were the ones that really handled how it looked. And the other ones were more performance-based or something. I don't, I mean, I'm not sure if that's a technical way of looking at it, but... It visually looked fine. I'm not complaining about that. All right, so here's the thing. I just changed the resolution scale back up to 100%. And right now in the loading, we are at 90-ish FPS. So that just got rid of like 40, 50 FPS, the resolution scale. So that might be a big factor here. Let's see what it is when we're actually playing. 80, oh man, now we're down to 60. Now we're sub 60 again, we're at 59. So that resolution scale is a big part of this. And it definitely looks better. I'm not going to lie. It definitely looks visually better with having this full resolution scale. <laughs> it's still playable, though. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm still in like the 70-ish. Oh, man. Really? Almost Just led the shot too much. Fun. Are you kidding? Bro, what the heck? It's definitely still playable like this, and it looks better. It definitely looks better. And is perfectly playable right now. Ah! Oh, dang it. Nice. Now, I'll go ahead and change the resolution. Let's just change the resolution skill. I just like 75%? Well, that like, yeah, see right there. That bumped me up to over 100 FPS by doing that. So, nice, there's a double. Damn it, return the flag. Thank you. So now we're at playing at 100 FPS, right? Oh, yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh my god. Cap the flag. Let's go, bro. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Whew. That was close. Haha, <laughs> wow, that jumped your frames up. Exactly, see? So. So, really, what we're seeing here is by. By adjusting the resolution scale by. by Let's see, by 50%, 50% change on resolution scale changes your FPS by about 50. So then if you go to, once, you know, by math here, if you go to 25%, then you're going to get half of that. Really interesting. Okay. Yeah, because like, like I said, now we're running in the, now we're running in around the 100 FPS range, depending on what I'm looking at visually. And it looks better, you know, so. 
I think there's you know definitely some more tweaking to be done to find the most optimal settings, but get that guy, get that guy, get that guy. Come on, die. There we go. Dude, why did you get out of here, Warhawk? That was a dumb idea. Oh, that's because he was trying to protect his teammate. Cap it. Let's go, dude. There we go. Who else is over here? Somebody? Give me that sidekick, please. Oh, he's over there. Are you going to be streaming the new Battlefield open beta? I am so sorry. I did not see that message. Uh, it's a good question. If it's open, I may. Actually, I don't know much about the open beta for Battlefield 2042. I've honestly been mainly focused on getting into this flight. <laughs> That's been my main focus. I definitely am interested in the game, though. For sure. So, if it is open, open, like, I don't have to, like... The reason why I didn't play the Vanguard beta is because you had to pre-order it. I know they open it up to everybody at, at one point, but uh, it just kind of annoyed me. So if it is like actually open, yeah, I'll definitely check it out for sure. You die, sir. Oh, wrong one. Nice. Did we kill him? Nice. All right. Cool. Man, dude. Oh, God. Whew. I thought that grenade was alive. Thought it was live. What's up, bro? What the? He just activated overshield. Ah! That's rude. I do want to ask you, Kemper. How does it? How does the stream visually look? Running at 1440 feet, does our bitrate look okay? How how's everything? Uh, how's everything visually looking? And then how's the audio as well? Does everything sound like it's in place? What's up here? Isn't there something up here? Nope. Not right now. Ha ha! Grenades. Sweet. Yeah, we're not. Oh my God. Okay. Well, that was a terrible idea. What are we looking at right now? 11 and 3. Oh my gosh. See, I tried telling you. Arena's really where I where I live, you know what I'm saying? Oh, here's a question for you, Kemper. Are you planning on going to the HCS Raleigh event in December? I'm like really excited for it. And I was actually thinking about going, but it's like 14 hours away from me. So I decided to wait on tickets, and they're like totally gonna sell out like today, which is a huge deal. This is like the fastest that they've ever sold tickets for an HCS event, like ever, like literally ever since they started having Halo events. Oh my god, I got that kill! Let's go. Oh my god, please! There we go. I think tickets sold out. Did they officially sell out? Man. See, I'm from northern Ohio, up towards Michigan. That's where I go to school up here. And um, I was thinking about it. I was, I was really excited about the idea of going. Really excited about the, idea, about the idea of going. And then I saw that tickets were selling out at a record pace. And I was like, <laughs> Because, you know, I didn't want to, like, necessarily buy the tickets immediately. I just kind of, like, feel it out a little bit. Nope. Oh, God. Terrible mistakes have been made. All right. Well, there you go. There's your there's your science experiment. You can't do that. <laughs> I'm so excited for them for selling out tickets, though. I will say I used to live in Michigan, but I'm in Texas for college. Oh, I got you, Kemper. Yeah, I'm, like, 30 minutes from Toledo. My cat is being very lovey-dovey right now. She wants food, but it's not time yet. She's got like 18 minutes before it's time for dinner. All right, come on, folks. Let's finish this up. She is totally... Oh, my God, she's so funny. She's 
She's just straight rubbing her head all over me. All right, bro, we'll take this. You want to fight? We can have a fight. Yep. Let's freaking go, dude. Don't mind if I do. Cap that flag. Cap it. You got nobody over here. Completely open right now. Completely open. They're all in respawn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cap the dang flag. You got it. Let's go. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, I still call Soda Pop and all my friends down south make fun of me. Oh, that is a bold move. I mean, I call it Pop as well. But I also have family from Tennessee, and that is not what you call it down there. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Sabrina. What are you doing? Hi. Hello. Hi. Here's the cat. This, this is Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina. She's a year old. Oh, she likes to come over by my keyboard and screw things up. That's what she likes to do. She's currently sitting about as cute as she could be sitting. Right where my arm needs to go. What, why are you rubbing your face all over me, huh? What's up with that? What's up with that, huh? You want some fancy dinner, don't you? I don't have the fancy dinner today. I'm so sorry. I only have your normal stuff. All right, let's see. How did I do that match? What did we end up with? Where's my scoreboard? Uh, nice. It doesn't even show my kills. Really? Is there a way to change that? Oh, there is. 16 and 5 at the end of that game. Excellent. I'll take that. Right? 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 I think 16 and 5 is pretty solid. Hi, Kiki. She's silly. Sabrina. What? What are you making all this noise for? Huh? Huh? You're gonna have to watch out. I need my hand to go here. She's currently laying down right where my left hand goes on the keyboard. I wish I could show you, but I can't. But you can see her paw right there. Just imagine the rest of her body like right here, <laughs> where my hand goes. <laughs> she loves to be in the worst place, let me tell you. Here's a question for you, Camper. Have you played New World? I really want to play me some New World, like real bad, but I also don't want to drop the $40 on New World. Slayer on Behemoth. Oh, man. Just the last game to end this. Ooh. Oh, man. This will end up being our last game because I believe that the PvP ends in 15 minutes, so this game should probably take around that much time, right? Ish. Something like that. Maybe a little faster. This will probably be our last game of the day. But do, I do want to say, Kemper, thank you so much for stopping by today. I appreciate it. It's been a joy to talk to you. So hopefully you've had a good time with me. Give me that commando. Yeah. Thank you. I do really like this map. Is nobody going to get this OS? Oh my god, no one's getting OS, bro. Give me that OS. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. Overshield, a Let's freaking go, dude. How is nobody going to go after this OS? Gain the lead. Mistakes have been made, folks. Mistakes have been made. Yes, I agree. Mistakes have been made because uh, that did not go as planned. <clears throat> Maybe that was the play. Maybe the play was to not get the OS. That was the thought. Maybe that was the actual play. We have this repulsor here. Oh, somebody down here. Nice. Hi, Sabrina. A man. Oh my god, bro. These people are ticking me off over here. I got a needy cat and people trying to kill me. It's ticking me off. All right, come on. I don't have enough time to play New World, but I've seen some folks talking about it. Yes. That's kind of that's that's also kind of how I feel. <laughs> oh, bro. You kidding me? All right, bro. All right, get off that. Yeah, I also feel pretty much the same way. I'm in my fifth year of college, so it's like time is a hot commodity over here. 
Oh my god, dude. I had like three people at one shot, and I'm really... I'm really angry. 0-3 oh, again. Alright, let's just focus up. No! Cat! Not the keyboard hand! Thank you. Oh, what's up, dude? That's a really bad idea. Just want to let you know. That was a sacrifice. That was also the sacrifice. Those were the two sacrifices that needed to be made to get me back into this game. Nice. So right now I'm currently alone, which is a really bad idea right here. So let's get out of there. I had like three people coming up on me. Repositioning! Imagine- Oh my god! What did I tell you? Terrible idea being over there. Oh my god, they followed me. Power weapons you, on the way. You people with oh my god! Go away! I was almost at five hundred. This is a close game too. Fifteen fifteen. If I could just have a better weapon for like longer than two seconds, that'd be amazing. Tell you what, bro, I'll just take this. Thank you. Thank you for the donation, teammate. Appreciate it. I promise it'll be used uh, to good uh, results. Here we go. That's one. That's one. Oh, I almost got that. Did that put me at 500? Ah, oh, four and five, almost. I always think that you can aim up on the ghost, but I, I actually don't think you can. It's mildly frustrating. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. This game's really going good. Some of those tense games that I don't really enjoy. That guy died. We got credit for it. Let's go. Dude, this guy saw my just my freaking ear. Oh, now we're really falling behind. Why is everybody spawning right on top of each other? Go away. I will say the distance at which you throw grenades in this game is pretty limited. It's not very not, not very much. Not very long, rather. Oh my god, go away. Go away. Don't even touch her. I'm literally so pissed about it right now. I'm not even kidding. Well, he's pissed about it now, too. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Talk about getting outplayed to the max, bro. Oh my goodness. He's so angry. That's the definition of getting outplayed out of your mind. Our ammo reserves are low. Dude, are you freaking kidding me? Please tell me there's two people there. That was BS. Still below 500. Power items on the field. Oh my god, bro. Are you bro, as soon as I peek my head out. Sometimes this stuff really annoys me. Oh, man. This game is falling apart. Enemy team nearing victory.
five minutes remaining. Dude, are you f oh my god. Did any of those shots register? Did you see hit marker on any of those shots? Cuz I didn't. Yeah, what a game to go out on, right? Wonder we get absolutely toasted. Nice, bro. Really freaking cool. Awesome. Love pulling up the rear. It's my favorite thing. Go from the top to the bottom, I guess. I don't like switching gears, right? Oh, man. What we got for our character here? Do we have any... Do we have any new pieces of armor we can roll with? What do we got? The enemy team is clustered together, so you were going up against multiple often is what it seemed like. Exactly. Like, no matter what I tried to do, it was just... completely disadvantaged. Every time. Completely disadvantaged. Every engagement I went up against. Not much you can do about that, you know? Not much that you can do, which is fine. It is what it is, you know what I mean? <clears throat> it is what it is. What do we got here? Do we unlock anything? I will say... One thing that I'm not so sure I'm going to like is this system of leveling with the challenges. I haven't had an opinion about it at all. Like, like everyone else has had an opinion. I haven't had an opinion about it yet because I haven't played... Like, I haven't, I haven't had the opportunity to try it yet. But now that I have, and I've played for a good good time today, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I think. I may I may not like it. I may not like it. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I may not like it. Probably going to need more time with it. And I understand that it's just a flight, so it's not like we don't have the full thing in here, obviously. Like, it's just a little taste, but... I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. There's just something about knowing like that you're consistently leveling something up. I don't know. Just give me a bar, even if it means nothing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's how it was in Halo 5. In Halo 5, in fact, that that is what it was. In Halo 5, you literally just got a, a rec pack for leveling up, right? That's, like, that's it? Screw it. Just, just freaking put a level put a level in there. and It's not going to mean anything. Just give me something to level up, right? I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you what, though. Definitely... Definitely have enjoyed my time on Halo Infinite. Uh, I probably won't be able to play tonight because I work, but I'll definitely play at some point again this weekend, for sure. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. Definitely. I hated I hated Halo 5. <laughs> I played it a bit, but I did not like it, and my, my dislike for it has grown as time has gone on. Um, I did not think Halo 4 was a good Halo game, but I did enjoy playing the game itself. I thought it was a fun game, just not a good Halo game. Halo 3 is my bread and butter. So... I enjoy this thoroughly. Uh, it has a lot of feels of Halo 3. It feels like a modern take on Halo 3 in a weird way. I like it. I like it a lot. I enjoy playing it. Like, I actually look forward to watching stuff and playing it, which is different for me. So I'm really excited. Really, really excited for this game. I'm excited for the campaign. I'm really excited for the campaign. I'm so excited to jump into that. This is going to be a good time. It's going to be a really, really good time. Kemper, thank you so much for, for stopping by today. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe. If you want to see more of this content, definitely check out my socials too. Um, I'm a media production major in college. I do creative video for sports. Um, so as you can imagine, this is, you know, content is my bread and butter. This is kind of the stuff I do. I don't make as much content gaming-wise now. I make mainly like sports stuff, but um, definitely going to be doing more of the stream stuff when Halo Infinite comes out. For sure. For sure.
And I do really want to play New World. I just have to decide to get it. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for me today. I appreciate you stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.